What's up everyone, my name is Platinum Howler. Today I'm bringing you a shorter video uh, showing off how to use an emulated version of Pokemon Emerald on your computer. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I'm going to be making some Emerald Battle Factory content. Uh, more like I'm going to be streaming it as part of an uh, event called the Decathla Ion uh, that's run through the Ion Game Corner. A fantastic group of streamers and content creators that are coming together to plan this event uh, this summer. Uh, you know, the Decathlon Ion is a play on uh, the Olympic event Decathlon, and uh, it, we're hosting it to uh, basically account for the fact that the Summer Olympics in Tokyo this year are, are not going to be going on as planned. So instead we have our own video game version of the uh, Olympics to make up for that. So. Uh, if you want to join the ION uh, Discord community, I'll leave a link for that below. You can also follow me on Twitch to catch my streams for the Decathlon ION event. You can also follow me on Twitter to find out uh, exactly when I go live on Twitch. So yeah, all of those links will be down below. And there will be even more links uh, explaining how to get this all set up for yourself if you want to uh, try to play some Emerald Battle Factory. Uh, for yourself. So, first thing that you'll need to do is download the Visual Boy Advance uh, emulator. Uh, there will be a link for where you can download that down below. And I'll also leave a link for a video that has a few tutorial steps. Uh, like, it can help you uh, configure the emulator with the most ideal settings so that the emulator runs uh, as best as possible. Then you have to download the ROM for Pokemon Emerald. I'll leave a link for where you can download that. All you need to do to get the game running is drag the ROM file into the Visual Boy Advance window that I have open right now, and then the game will start. Uh, however, if you want to be able to skip straight to the Battle Frontier without playing through the entirety of the game first, uh, you're going to have to download somebody else's save file, and I'll leave a link for that as well in the description. Uh, you can get it from uh, gamefacts.com. So, uh, oh, this is restarting now. <laughs> okay, I didn't realize that was going to happen. But So there's a link for where you can download save files uh, from gamefacts.com down below. I may as well, you know what, I may as well just not have this playthrough again here. We'll sit on this screen for a while. So... You can download any save file that you want from gamefacts.com. Uh, you want to make sure that if the the entirety of the game has been completed and that you can easily access uh, the Battle Frontier. You can just fly there, no problem. Um, so what you're going to need to do, though, uh, to start uh, right away is you want to go up to File, and then, oh, you actually can't see this. Uh, hmm, that's not what I was counting on, but you need to go in the Visual Boy Advance, you click File, then go to Import, and then Game Shark Snapshot, and if you do that, then you can choose the, um, then you can choose the, uh, save file that you downloaded and start up, uh, with that. So, yeah, I'm sorry that that didn't show off. Uh, but I'm just trying to do this video really quick, so, um, yeah, I guess you won't get to see that part. But hopefully my explanation is good enough. Let's get this cursor out of here. Yeah. So, it starts you in your house. All you need to do, walk right out of your house, and then go to your Pokemon. This save file that I have downloaded has the three starters at level 100, plus a Skarmory that knows Fly. So you click on the Skarmory to fly, and it'll take you all the way to the Battle Frontier in the bottom right corner of the map. It takes you to this Pokemon Center here, but the Battle Factory is going to be all the way over on the left side. Here we go. And the Tecathla Ion event is going to be doing single battles, open level. So you go to talk to this guy over here. Welcome to the Battle Factory. I am your guide to the Battle Swap Single Tournament. 
Would you like to take on the swap challenge? Swap single challenge, yes. We're gonna play open level, because that's basically over 100. Uh, ask you to save the game beforehand. And as soon as the game is saved, right there, when you hear that sound effect, the competition starts. So, this guy here is going to tell you a little bit, tell a little bit about the first uh, trainer that you're going to battle. As he says, he's skilled in using water types. So, I believe, I think that means that at least two of his three Pokemon are going to have, are going to have uh, water types on it. So, it's. Uh, we have a choice of six Pokemon to rent from. Uh, the first one, Mr. Mime. Uh, Magmar, we definitely don't want to be taking a fire type uh, Magmar to go up against water types. Uh, Aerodactyl, not good against water types either. So, and we have a Slowbro and Melodic. So, the Scizor seems pretty good. Bug and Steel with. It doesn't. It doesn't have great moves to hit water types though. The best move that it has is Aerolace, which isn't going to be doing too, too much damage. Slowbro, also not really great moves to hit water types. Um, yeah, none of these, none of these Pokemon really have great options. Well, Mr. Vine has Magical Leaf, so we may want to lead with, we may want to choose uh, to lead off with Mr. Mime. So we'll rent that for our first, hold on, we'll rent that for our first Pokemon. Um, I think Scizor is a good Mon to have just in general because uh, it has a lot of resistances against other types. And I think the last is going to come down to either Slowbro or uh, Melodic. Hydro Pump. I think the fact that Melodic has a Recover makes it a better choice, so that's what I'm going to choose as my last. And this is the team that I'm going to rock out with in the first round. And now we're going to take on this trainer and see what he's got. So I'm only going to do one battle, actually maybe two, no I'm going to do two battles for this video just to show off what's going on, what we got going on. So Ludicolo, uh, that is actually would be a good matchup for Scizor because Aerial Ace is super effective, um, and I think I would probably want to keep Mr. Mime around uh, to deal with anything else that he might have. Because this Ludicolo is Water and Grass type. This is probably going to do quite a bit of damage. It hits us neutrally. Oh boy. Perhaps not switch, switching out might have been the wrong thing to do there. Oh, oh, we outspeed him. That's really clutch. So that should do a, another. What the heck? Fire punch Ludicolo? That's crazy. I didn't even know Ludicolo got fire punch. So now we have to go back into our Mr. Mine to try to deal with this thing. Uh, I think we might as well go for Fake Out just to get some, just to get a little bit of chip on. Actually, that. Oh, he. Oh, oh, Shell Bell was the item. I thought it was leftovers, but I guess it must have been Shell Bell because he didn't get any HP back right there. This should be able to knock him out for sure. And hopefully, the fact. Oh, that didn't even kill. Wow, this Ludicolo is putting in a way more work than I would like it to. But thankfully, Fire Punch does very little to uh, Mr. Mime. And we can just knock him out. Oh, what's our item? Do we have leftovers? Yeah, we do have leftovers. I didn't even look at all of the items very carefully. Because I need to get used to doing this quick, because this is a timed event. Uh, we have two hours uh, to play through the game and uh, win as many battles in a row as we can. Jeez, this is a powerful... This is a powerful mono water team. <laughs> Ludicolo and Gyarados are not an easy combination to deal with as far as mono water goes. I kind of want to. Uh, I think. No, I think I just want to get some damage off. I'm. 
quite surprised that this thing is faster than Mr. Mime. These speed tiers are really difficult to figure out. <laughs> uh, but it, that just nothing. What the heck? This Mr. Mime is really weak. Uh, I might want to set up a Reflect, because that's going to help us take hits from the Gyarados a little bit better with our with our Pokémon. Because it looks like the Melodic is going to have to uh, come in and take this thing on, and we're going to have to hope to clutch, clutch this game out with Melodic. Good thing we have Recovery on there. Um, let's go for another Psychic. Oh, Thunder Wave? Okay. I don't like getting paralyzed because that's stalling out that's stalling out turns of my reflect. And also taking away a turn that I could have possibly got damage off against him. So I actually know that I know that my melodic is Lumberry. I paid attention to that at least, so if he tries to Thunder Wave me, uh, then I'll cure myself. And if he does it again. Then I'll actually- oh my goodness. Dragon Dance is very, very scary because he boosts his attack and his speed. I feel like my Reflect is actually going to run out. Uh, okay, Thunder Wave again. That's cool. Uh, <laughs> You can't double paralyze me or anything. So yeah, the reflect goes away now. Um, and I'm I'm not gonna click reflect this time because I think one more psychic should be able to kill him. And if I can get rid of it, then that would be better. But nope. Oh, that did nothing because dark is a special move. It's not. Uh, it's not a physical attack. Yeah, the physical special split in this game, it, or, or the fact it, it doesn't exist in this game, so it's. Kind of weird. Shuckle is not a water type, so the fact that it's a, a rock and bug type, so I only have three psychics left, I may as well set up a reflect. I didn't know Shuckle doesn't really have much in the way of offensive pressure, but yeah, oh my god, rest is gonna be super annoying to deal with. Um, I'm uh, to try to speed up the process, I'm just gonna go out into my melodic because. Uh, Melonic has Hydro Pump, which can hit Shuckle for super effective damage. Uh, rock types are actually weak to uh, water type moves. So we're gonna click Hydro Pump. And the only thing about Hydro Pump is that it is highly inaccurate. Uh, it's only gonna hit 80% of the time. And you can only use it five times. So if I miss a ton of Hydro Pumps, then that's not ideal. But Oh, wow, that's a clean Oko. I was not expecting that. This is a very powerful Melodic, so... So we win the first battle. Which is good, but uh, it took us about, oh, like, almost 10 minutes to get through that battle. So, after the first battle, they heal up. They heal up all your Pokémon. Um, and I can... I'm gonna choose Go On. Little Investigation, apparently skilled in the handling of Water-type again. Battle style appears to be free spirited and unrestrained. Would you like to? So before you start the next battle, it's going to ask you if you want to switch out one of your beginning Pokemon with um, one of the uh, one of the other Pokemon. So I'm actually going to. Uh, I kind of want to keep Melodic around just because it was. Um, I don't know. Mel Mel Melodic's really good because it has recover. Um, the scissor, I don't know how useful the scissor is going to be, but I just want to, just for the sake of, of showing off, uh, the, uh, the feature here. So these are the three, the exact three Pokemon that we just went up against. Uh, so I'm going to choose this Ludicolo. Actually, you know what? Uh, I'm going to go quit swapping. Yes. Uh, oh, okay. That's not what I wanted to do. Uh, I'm still getting used to... I don't have the controls set up the way that I want to right now. But what I was going to do is I wanted to take the Ludicolo uh, and swap it out for the Mr. Mime. Actually, not the Scizor. So, because Ludicolo would match up really well against most water types. Um, Tentacruel is not one of them. So, it turns out that the fact that I kept 
Mr. Mime was actually really helpful because Tentacruel being part poison type is weak to Psychic. Um, and Confuse Ray is slightly annoying. But the fact that I held on to Mr. Mime is actually going to hopefully work to my benefit here as long as I don't hit myself in Confusion, which, yeah, I do. And at least I mitigate some of that damage with my Leftovers Recovery. We'll click Psychic again. Sludge Bomb, I think, is actually physical, and Mr. Mime's physical defense is not very good. Uh, thankfully, I get a Psychic off this time, though. So this is going to do a lot of damage. Uh, it's not going to knock it out in one hit. Um, I'm tempted to go out into my into the Scizor because Scizor being a Steel type actually is immune to Poison type moves. So I'm going to do that just in case because uh, I don't want Mr. Mime to take too much damage. I'm going sa to save it for other Pokemon that this guy might have in the back. Fuse Raid again, which is super annoying. <laughs> uh, let's click Aerial Ace. It would be really nice if um, Scizor had a, a Bug-type move on this moveset, because, well... Oh, good thing, Aerial Ace was enough. Critical hit! So, critical hits back in this game do double damage uh, instead of 1.5 times damage, which they do now. Ooh, uh, I don't like Arcanine. <laughs> I don't like Arcanine one bit. So, Arcanine's a fire type, and Scizor is very, very weak to fire type moves. So, our melodic matches up well against this thing. And we can click Hydro Pump and probably knock this thing out in one hit. Uh, makes a good play by going for the Body Slam. I probably could have clicked Recover on that turn to just try to keep Melodic as healthy as possible. But if I miss this Hydro Pump, nope, I connect, and this should definitely knock out Arcanine in one hit. Yep, there it goes. And his last Pokemon uh, should be a Water type. Yeah, it's slow, bro. Uh, because, you know, the guy said at the beginning that this Poke guy is proficient in using uh, Water type Pokemon. So I'm going to click Recover and get a bunch of HP back. Just to keep myself as healthy as possible. Although, if you're doing if we're doing this as a timed event, then it's where I'd probably be better off just trying, just not clicking recover and going into one of my other Pokemon. Uh, oh, so well, at least he set up the rain for me. So Hydro Pump should be doing more damage. Uh, Mirror Coat is a very uh, tricky attack because it only does damage if they. If they attack you with a special move, um, and I think Water and Psychic, it's the slow real stabs would both count as special moves, so Mirror Coat would work against it. Uh, Headbutt would not work uh, if Mirror Coat would not uh, do any damage to the slow bro if I get hit with a Headbutt. So this thing, actually, if I recall, it's probably the same... It's probably the same set that I had the choice of renting at the beginning of this challenge. So that's important to note. If you can look through all of the movesets in the Battle Factory, you can kind of uh, have a, a good idea of what uh, opponents are going to be using against you if, you if they so happen to show up like they are here. Hmm. That's... I only have one Hydro Pump left and it's not... Definitely not going to kill this slow bro. I may want to click Mirror Code again just to see what happens. Ooh, he went for Ice Punch, so that should be that should be a special move. So Mirror Code should work here. Yep. Uh, and what Miracle does, it, it doesn't do a lot. If he had used Surf against me, it would have done a lot more. Um, but I'm just going to click, keep clicking Miracle Because I want to hold on to my last Hydro Pump. Uh, I'm more, more like I'm nervous about missing. And he has two attacks that he clicks. Uh, 
that Mirror Coat would work against. So let's say his Ice Punch did like 30 points of health to me, Mirror Coat would do 60 points of health back to the Slowbro. That's how that attack works. I'll use my last Hydro Pump. Because I might not live another attack from the Slowbro. Um, <laughs> I would have liked... Actually, it probably would have been smarter if I used my last my last Hydro Pump after he went for Rain Dance, because I can't use Hydro Pump anymore. The, uh, I'll use Icy Wind, though, but Icy Wind is going to be doing significantly less damage than uh, than Hydro Pump was. Yeah, that uh, to another one it won't even be enough to knock it out. Headbutt is just going to fall short of knocking me out. But I'm just trying to speed up this process as much as possible. This is not going to KO <laughs> the slow grow. Uh, but, so the Icy Wind secondary effect of lowering... Well, he clicked Rain Dance instead of attacking me, so he might actually give me an opportunity to knock the slow bro out, slow bro out and end the battle. And there it is. Okay, so if possible, I'm gonna try to actually make a uh, Pokemon swap this time. Uh, I'm gonna go on a little investigation. A trainer's apparently skilled at handling of the Psychic type. Okay, so uh, Mr. Mime might not be the best thing to use against those. Um, Yes, I would like to swap. Uh, we'll just choose Mr. Mime to swap out for the hell of it. Um, and we'll go... So we already have s slow... Tentacruel, you definitely do not want to choose because it is weak to Psychic-type moves. Uh, I'm going to use Arcanine here. Um, just so that... Uh, I think it's definitely the better of the three mons against Psychic-types in general. Um, and I'll I'll just show you now that instead of Mr. Mine being my first Pokemon, I actually have an Arcanine, which, funnily enough, doesn't uh, match up very well against um, Starmie, but it does have Crunch, which is a Dark-type move, and it's going to hit Starmie for super effective damage, so that's something. Although, I actually do think that Mr. Mime in this scenario would have been a better matchup against this Starmie in particular, because Starmie being part water type, it's, uh... Starmie being part water type, it is weak to the magical leaf move that Mr. Mime had. We get a sp special defense drop there, it's... it's just, so this next crunch is going to be doing even more damage to the Starmie, and it's actually funny that crunch drops special defense in this game, uh, because, uh... You know, in the newer Pokemon games, Crunch is a physical attack and has a chance to lower the opponent's physical defense. But in this game, it's a special attack, so it lowers special defense. I think that's pretty cool. This thing's just spamming Recover, and I'm doing more than half of its health right now, so that's really not a great idea for it. But So I guess we will just wrap up this battle. Um, uh, this will be the last battle of the video, I think. Uh, the, everybody should hopefully understand how to get it set up, and if you run into problems while trying to get this set up for yourself, then you can leave a comment on this video and I will do my best to uh, help you out. Um, yeah. I know there there was a there seems to be a common issue of uh, people when they try to throw the um, when they try to start the game up. Ooh, call mine. That's really scary. So he's boosting his special attack and special defense. So he's going to take less damage from this crunch than he would have uh, than he would have at the beginning. So yeah, that does very 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 little damage. Um, I'm actually going to go for extreme speed because uh extreme speed has increased priority it's uh it always goes first 
Um, and that should actually do a lot more damage than Crunch, uh, although this thing is going to now lower my attack by quite a bit, so another extreme speed probably won't be enough to kill it. Uh, it might fall just short. But this is this is a really good Arcanine set, though, for this. Yeah, just, just not quite enough, and this is going to hit super, super hard, and it actually might knock me out. Uh, yeah. Oh, definitely going to knock me out with a critical hit. So, thankfully, my Scizor has uh, uh, another move on its moveset with uh, increased priority, and that's Quick Attack. So Quick Attack is always going to move first and be able to deal enough damage to KO the Espeon. And his last Pokémon is going to be Metagross. That's really scary. I would have liked to have my... Uh, I definitely would have liked to have my Arcanine take on this thing because it's uh, Metagross being a steel type, just like the Scizor, it's weak to fire type moves. We're gonna click counter just to see what it wants to do. If he goes for a physical attack, which Facade is a physical attack, so counter is gonna work. Counter is basically the opposite of Mirror Coat. If you get hit with a physical move, then counter, like, so that Metagross's attack did, um, did 48 points of damage, so uh, counter would uh, retaliate with 96 points of damage against the Metagross. Um, Meteor Mash, I believe Steel should be physical, so counter... Oh yeah, that's definitely physical, so this counter is going to do a ton of damage to Metagross. And the fact that it got an attack raise is really scary, but this counter might be enough to knock out the Metagross, which is really, really nice. So we win this battle. Uh, that's a win streak of three. And we would need to win four more battles uh, to complete this round and earn battle points. But battle, winning battle points is not the objective here. You want to win as many battles uh, in a row as possible. It's not who earns the most battle points that wins the event. It's who wins the most battles in a row. So, like, this, the, somebody who wins eight battles in a row... Uh, versus somebody who wins 10 battles in a row, they're still going to earn the same amount of battle points. Um, so, yeah, so the person who wins 10 battles is obviously the winner of the event. So that's going to wrap it up for this video. If you want to see more of this Battle Factory content uh, that might not be streamed on YouTube necessarily, but some more Battle Factory stuff on my channel, uh, on my YouTube channel, then definitely let me know in the comments as well. And let me know if you run into any issues while trying to get the emulator working for yourself. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be all for this video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like, comment. Uh, I already said comment down below. Yeah. Uh, and subscribe to the channel to keep up with all of our uh, Pokemon content that we got coming up. So, yeah, thanks for watching.